We're digging deeper into the future of a Providence building severely lacking in upkeep. As we told you last night, the city's committee on public safety voted for employees to leave the Ernest Street property, which is where the city inspects VIN numbers. And new tonight, Eyewitness News reporter Alexandra Leslie has the details on what's next. Following last night's meeting, we wanted to know what this meant for the dozens of city employees working inside the Ernest Street building and what it also meant for taxpayers that rely on its services. And at times, heated committee on public safety meeting ended in a unanimous decision to vacate equipment and employees from 35 to 50 Ernest Street. Our main focus right now okay. is the VIN station building and it also houses the sewer department communications and the uh, graffiti task force stuff. Right now, some Providence City Councilors agree a big concern is relocating the city's Vincheck station. It's a space within the Ernest Street block that isn't limited to the use of just city employees. They hold meetings in there for the traffic advisory comment uh, 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 committee. When people go down to get their VIN numbers checked, they have to get out of their vehicles and we want to see the conditions of the floors. Eyewitness News obtained photos of inside the building. You can see floor tiles peeling, flooding, mold, and exposed ceilings. Councilman Nicholas Narducci tells me the issue has been a concern for the better part of a decade. He says unsafe working conditions caused at least one injury in recent years. We had an employee go out on a disability. I don't want to get into who and what is it. Was that directly related to conditions? Yes. Last night, a few locations to relocate services were discussed, but nothing was decided upon. And the clock is ticking. Though some city councilors wanted the vacating process to begin today, they have 14 days to do so. Day one technically began at last night's Committee on Public Safety meeting. City councilors tell me they will be checking in on that process. If nothing is done, they can vote to recommend to shut down the building entirely. I'm Alexandra Leslie, Eyewitness News.